Hey skiers, I'm Jeff from SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2024 ski test. Today we're talking about the Atomic Bent 120. Um, it's actually the Bent Chetler 120. Should correct myself there because this truly is Chris Bent Chetler's pro model. So the Bent, the Bent collection started as Chris Ben Shetler's skis. Um, when it became a five ski collection, they kind of dropped the Shetler name from the narrower four models and just kept it with this 120, which I think makes the most sense. Chris Ben Shetler is known most for his kind of backcountry freestyle prowess, and this truly is like his weapon of choice. Um, and the 120 is a little bit different than the other models. I've mentioned before that the 110 and the 120 have similar shapes and characteristics where the 90 and 100 are a little different, but even compared to the 110, this 120 kind of takes it up a notch, so to speak. Um, and it does so in construction. So we've talked about the simplicity in the bent construction plenty over the years. This ski is still relatively simple. We get a poplar wood core, vertical sidewalls underfoot, partial cap construction, kind of tapers to full cap construction in the tips and tails. The difference here is that we get some carbon stringers in this ski. So in the flex pattern, that carbon basically just gives you a little bit more energy. The ski has more snap and pop as you load it up, whether you're kind of ollieing off something or whether you're just making a turn, you're going to get a touch more energy out of the 120. Um, it is reflective in the price, you know, adding a material like carbon, you're going to see the, the price tag go up just a little bit, but it's not outrageous by any means. Um, and perhaps the, the best thing about carbon, and this is something that obviously ski manufacturers are benefiting from because a lot of people use carbon, you can put carbon in a ski and not add much weight. So this ski is still only 1,820 grams. Um, and let me double check what length I've got here. Obviously we're 120 underfoot and we're 184 in length. So that's a lot of ski and not much weight, which is really cool. Whether you're kind of flicking it around skiing powder or whether you're hitting a backcountry jump and doing big spins and stuff like that, having a lighter weight ski is, is really nice to have. Um, taking a look at the shape here, the 110 and the 120 are quite similar in the shape. The 120 just kind of gets a little bit more rocker in the tips and tails. So you can see all that rocker in both the tips and the tails. It is, for a ski this wide, relatively symmetrical too. It's not completely symmetrical. Tip rocker is slightly longer than tail rocker. But yeah, for a powder ski like this, this is designed to be able to land switch, ski switch, stuff like that. It is more of a balanced shape than some things that you're going to see. Um, I think we skipped over it in construction and it's fine because it's kind of shaped too. We get that Horizon Tech in the tips and tails. So lots of rocker, Horizon Tech, a little bit of camber underfoot, but really the idea of this ski is that it should be surfy and smeary and just super fun and powder, kind of let you do whatever you want in powder. And that's really the best way to think about its performance. You know, if you are kind of that type of skier, you've got a freestyle mentality, you've got kind of a freestyle background, stuff like that, but you want a big, fat, wide powder ski for the deepest snow conditions, the 120 is, is awesome. You know, I'm sure there are people out there that would disagree with me, and, and I could even disagree with myself in a sense. Um, but, you know, a ski like this, we live here in Stowe, Vermont. We don't even get many days around here to take out a ski this wide. We do get some, some of us here at Ski Essentials have a ski like this in our quiver. I would sort of make the argument that the 110 is probably enough for most people in the East or New England or Vermont. Uh, when you go out West, you know, Chris Ben Shetler, you're gonna find him in big mountain terrain, much more than you're gonna find him in little New England hills. This ski really starts to shine when you get it into some open areas and stuff like that. Um, I think it's probably best for the type of skier that I've been describing with a little bit of a freestyle background or a freestyle mentality. But I do know that a fair amount of people ski this 
even without kind of that freestyle mentality at all. Um, there is a bit of a range of mount points on here. We get six centimeters of different mount point options. So if you are more of that directional skier, you could just go back to minus two or minus three and get a little bit more directional performance. Um, but yeah, if you want to ski for just super, super deep conditions that can butter and smear and slash and spin and just have so much fun, the, the Bent 120 is awesome. I keep saying Bent 120, and I hope Chris Ben Chetler doesn't get mad at me for not including the Chetler. I don't think he will. Um, so, yeah, that's the Atomic Ben Chetler 120. Definitely let us know if you have any questions about it, and we will see you out there on the hill.